Hello, and welcome to C-Log. C-Log is a flexible Unity logging framework based upon the open source C-Log project. It provides a lightweight wrapper around your custom or included logger. C-Log allows you to specify a platform-specific logger and then configure its properties in the C-Log control panel. You can also create, configure, and activate your own logger from the control panel without modifying a single line of code. C-Log gives you flexibility and more, so let's get started. This is a review of how C-Log is installed and configured. To begin, download and install C-Log from the Unity Asset Store. It will be placed here in the AI Unity directory alongside other AI Unity products. Inside the C-Log directory, you will find the C-Log manual and a README. To control C-Log, we will access the C-Log control panel located under the Tools menu. Let's dock it here. C-Log is configured with an XML file located here that can be added and removed. The contents of the XML file is viewable here and can be directly edited. However, it's recommended that you use the GUI to edit the XML, so let's review the various settings. The source determines whether the C-Log core code is used or DLLs. The code has the advantage of letting you understand the inner workings of C-Log and perhaps develop an extension. However, the DLL is recommended as it allows for double-clicking of logging messages in the console to take you directly to the logging statement in your IDE. Platforms determine which platform C-Log will be built on. Unselected platforms will have C-Log completely built out, which yields a performance improvement. Build levels determines which logging levels will exist in your final build. Again, this yields a performance improvement as your logging statements on unselected build levels will be compiled out of the build. Internal levels is for debugging C-Log, and you can choose various logging levels should you have problems with the internal workings of C-Log. Your logging assert statements can raise exceptions if you choose this option. The test logger is a very useful and vital piece and allows you to test your configuration. Here's a preview of the logging statement that will be executed with a play button. Let's try it now. We will refer back to this in a later section. You can see here the name of the logger, the game object associated with the logger, the levels that you would like to preview, the message associated with the logger, and if you'd like the logger to raise an exception. C-Log is a lightweight wrapper around your logging targets. Targets can be added, removed, and configured at any time without modifying your logging statements. Click here to add a target. The included loggers are the separate in-log logger asset product, which is for high-end logging and is available from AI Unity, Game Console, which is an included prefab, which is placed in your runtime game and allows logging at runtime, the null logger, which drops logging statements, and the unique console logger, which we'll be reviewing now. It is also simple to create custom loggers, which will then be available in this menu. Let's review the Unity console logger. The name of the logger is placed here. You can also specify for which platforms this target will match. Unselected platforms will then fall through to any loggers that follow. Logging levels, choose what levels you would like this logger to log on. And then here is a few public parameters that allow you to configure the layout of your logging statement. Here you can see that logging levels and the call site were selected. So as you can see, one of the advantages is that you can parameterize your targets and you can dynamically switch this at any point without modifying your logging statements. Let's try a configuration that might be helpful. Let's add powerful in-log logger should you choose to add that asset. And let's have this logger only used on the editor. So let's say like nothing. And we'll have it only on the Windows editor. And then we'll forward it to the in-log logger. For the remainder of our platforms, we'll add the game console. So again, only the editor will have this logger active. And all others will fall through to this target. So with this simple change, you can see how we've made it a, a unique configuration. And again, a lot of the power comes from being able to adjust or create custom loggers. And C-Log is built to be very lightweight and adding nothing significant to your build. This is a tutorial on the usage of C-Log. It is assumed that you've already installed and configured C-Log with the control panel. 
Let's begin by opening the C-Log Unity console example scene. Inside you will find the C-Log test game object, which contains the C-Log example script, which will demonstrate the usage of C-Log. Let's open that now. You will notice the logging APIs are very intuitive and similar to those provided by Unity. C-Log does provide additional levels and will accept the string format syntax. Each logger is associated with a name and a game object. This occurs during instantiation. If you pass the script instance as is recommended and shown here, the logger name will be assigned the script name and the game object will be that in which this script is instantiated on. There is also overloads here should you want to specify the name and context directly. Let's stay with the recommended script instance. Here we have demonstrated the intuitive and simple use of C-Log. Now the C-Log control panel can provide flexibility and power. Happy logging! To learn more, please visit AI Unity website. You can also explore the featured products below. Be sure to subscribe to stay current on all AI Unity products. Thank you, and stay tuned to this product's playlist to complete your training.